Hey guys. Hello. Hello. Hi, how are Hello. you? Hello. 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 How is everyone? Hello. Hello. Hey, great. Doing great. All right. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, how was your day? Did you go to work? Who's working from home, but guys? The majority of you, or do you have to go Me. out? How no, I you didn't. You're working I from work, home? I work all day. Karina, right? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. I'm still in quarantine. Yeah. It's going to last a long time, I think. Okay. Well, thank you um, to those who sent the homework. I noticed a lot of you did it. I didn't see many mistakes, actually. I was reading them, but everything is fine. And there is a part of this that we haven't completed yet, right? And it is relative pronouns as object as subjects actually let me see and no as objects okay i want to explain that part so we can practice it quickly so at this point everybody has access to the platform and the whatsapp group right yes yes amy everyone carlos you do yeah i do i'm here I'm right. sorry. I do. Yeah, I don't see. I don't see Margarita, Katia, and Marcela. If you could turn the cameras on, please. All right. So we are going to say. Look at this. We're going to say I'd prefer someone. Right. Let's write that. I'd prefer someone. You can say who or that. And there is an activity you have to do with this person, right? Who I can go out with every weekend, for example, right? So it's an activity that you share. Can you think of another example? Uh, okay. Let's do another one with I prefer. What activities do you do with other people, guys? I prefer someone who can I play soccer with. Okay, who I can play soccer with. Very good. This preposition is going to go all the way at the end of the sentence. Okay. And I would like you to make sentences like this. You can say that as well, that I can play soccer with. But it's better to say who because we're talking about a person. We can say someone or somebody. Okay. So I'm going to give you some ideas of things you can do. Follow the same structure, put that with or to at the end, all right? So for example, talk to, a go out with, we already did that. You could also say study with. What are activities you do with other people, guys? You talk to them, you study with them, you go out with them, what else? Drink coffee with. Okay, drink coffee with them. What else? Had a good time. Oh, well, you know what? You can trust other people. All right. You don't need to say trust in other people. Just trust. Okay. It could be maybe talk about everything with. So I can talk about everything with. Yes, you can say that as well. So any activities you can do together. You can say, I trust you. All right. Or. Let me see, I have another example, have dinner with them, so on. So with these activities or your own ideas, I would like you to write five sentences, okay? But you can work in pairs. So I would say take a screenshot of this so you can follow the model because this is the only part we didn't practice last night. And with this, we'll finish this topic. Okay, so follow this model to make sentences with these activities or any activities you can think of. Is that clear? Yes? yes <laughs> Leila, yes. I saw you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, great. Yes. Let's do that then. Let's work in pairs. So have a notebook ready, please. And let's 
practice. Okay, accept the invitation, please, everyone. Click on accept, and tap on accept. Here we go. Click on accept, tap. Okay. Uh, repeat. I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh -huh. You said I. I, I prefer. Like, I prefer. A person who I can chat uh, when I miss it. No, who I can chat with. Simple as that. Who with. I can chat. Who I can <laughs> chat with. Yes, that would be perfect. Because you need that to or with at the end of the sentence. And it's gonna be good. Okay. Great. Right. Study here. Hi, Disha. Yes. Hello. Okay. Oh. Um okay, how many sentences have you written? Uh, in this moment zero. zero. <laughs> at this moment zero. Because we we were talking. It's okay. Well, also. All right. But okay. this moment, I agree. We... I don't know. Is that is correct? You said I prefer someone, someone who, love, who loves... Who loves... Who loves... Who loves... Dogs. Dogs. Who loves dogs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It could be. Uh, um, it's your first class? Yes. Is my first class. Okay, and gestured. Hi. Hi. You need help? So, yeah, she, she, she don't understand all about this topic because it's her first class. Oh, okay. Hi, Margarita. How are you? Hi. Ah, oh, so. <laughs> all good. Okay, let's do something. Carlos, how about you lead yeah. this activity? And uh, Sorry? how about you lead this activity? Okay. And in this case, Margarita, what I would recommend is that you write the sentences he tells you. Okay. Later you can study in the platform. So okay. you can come up with for example, Carlos, and and she can write them. Okay. So that we can make progress. Okay. Great. Okay. So, mm. have dogs <laughs> just like me. <laughs> okay. Marcela, were you in other groups with me before? You look familiar. Um, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, this is not your <laughs> first class online, is it? Yes, this is my it first is? class. I know you, Marcela, from somewhere. Where do you live? Um, where I, do I live? Uh -huh. um, in Los Planes de Rendero. Planes de Rendero. Okay. Hmm. I, I know I have seen you before, but I don't know. <laughs> I you, know the, about it. <laughs> you know, they say they have, they have seven faces familiar. Yes. Yeah. No, but uh, it should remind me of somebody. Okay. Where did you study English, Marcela? I study English in 
NLC, Natural Learning Corporation. Uh -huh. So, 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 Don't so know. far along. Ah, speak. Okay. I worked for speak in the past. You see, I knew it. <laughs> I know <told> you. <laughs> I knew it. I had seen you before. So I used so, to be nice, a teacher there. Do nice to remember, meet you again. <laughs> do you remember Eduardo Paises? Uh, William, uh, sí. William Ostanek, all of those? Yeah. Well, no, just Eduardo. Uh huh, yeah, he's my best friend. So <laughs> I, I knew I knew you, I had seen you somewhere. <laughs> but now I'm in Argentina. So Argentina? Know, the world, small world, they say, right? Yeah. Chile. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. I live here now. Okay, go on, guys. We have to finish. Sorry. Oh. I prefer. It's basically, every every sentence it will be the same, but just with the the last part change. Mm -hmm. I, I prefer, prefer a brother. Uh, we study with yes. who I can study with. How many sentences have you written? Five. Five, okay, that's good. Yes. We're gonna go back now. Five is enough. Do you have any questions? Yeah. Can you can you say us uh no a sentence? Another sentence, I prefer somebody who I can trust, I can, I can talk to, and I can listen to. Oh, sentences right there. That's easy. <laughs> that's easy. Yeah, let's go back. Here we are. All right, great. Uh, welcome, Karen. I hadn't seen you. Let me see Noe. Uh, yeah, there you are, Noe. Daisy is not here. Um, okay, so uh, give me some sentences, please. Share with me what you wrote. I'm going to write them here. I need five sentences, please. Anybody wants to volunteer, and I'll write them. Go ahead. I prefer yeah. someone uh -huh. who I can study with. Very good. Another one? I don't know if this one is right. I prefer somebody that I can practice basketball. So I can, hold on, hold on. I'm not that fast. <laughs> Go ahead, Roberto. Uh, I prefer somebody that I can practice basketball. That I can? Practice basketball. Okay, practice basketball? Is that right? Mm, there's something missing. You need Which, with at the end three. because ah, we practice with them or play with them. All right, one more. Okay. Okay, okay. I would prefer mm -hmm. uh, uh, someone who I can study with. Who I can study with. Who I, I can study. That's already here. It's the first one, but thank you. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. If you say, I prefer colleagues who I can trust with the end. No, no. think about it because you say, okay, so you can say, I trust with my colleagues. No, right? No. What do you say? You say, I trust my colleagues. No with. Without with. Okay. So you, you would say, I prefer colleagues. Uh, colleagues who I can trust because you don't need that's all okay yes you don't need with in this case or in nothing okay one more okay I prefer someone who I can talk about a sports with I uh -huh. prefer someone who I can talk about sports with talk about sports with and finally one more I prefer someone who 
uh, do exercise? Why can do exercise? I can do exercise with. Okay. You need that. Um, and you can use other prepositions like I prefer somebody who I who I listen to. Okay. So you want somebody who you want to, who you are gonna listen to? I don't know why, but a, any preposition that you want to use is going to be at the end of the sentence. Okay, that's the point. Uh, do you have any questions about this? Let me make a parenthesis, guys. Sorry, it's the second class, and I know that the majority of you were in class last night, but I have to do this. All right. Let me see everyone. In, hay alguien que esta sea su primera clase. Marcela, Roberto. Hi. <laughs> <Are you> kidding <laughs> me? <laughs> Who else? Let me see. Yeah, Marcela. And, uh, uh, uh. Oh, there was a lady. Where did she go? Carlos, you were talking to her, right? Yeah. Yeah, where is she? It's, um, I don't see her. Uh -uh. It's Margarita. Margarita, she's not here. <laughs> yeah, it's here. Margarita Valle. Margarita Valle, no. Ah, oh, there yeah. you are, Margarita. I see you. All right, there you are. Uh, okay. So, uh, are you on WhatsApp, on the WhatsApp group? Miss Valle? No. You're not on the WhatsApp group? Guys, how did you send me the link last night so I can send it to her? I'm going to look it up so you can join it, okay? But do you have any questions about the platform, the WhatsApp group, something, guys, or can we move on? This is the one. Just about the platform, I was looking at the second video about this, these relative pronouns as objects, mm -hmm. and it's the same video for the relative pronouns as subjects. Yes, that's what I noticed. It's the same, and that's yeah. why I gave them video, but the, right now. It's the same video, but different, different explanation. Yes, right. It's usually the case that it looks like the same video, but it has a different explanation. So it's probably inverted, but I mean it's alright. I already explained how it works, and we already did exercises, so you should be good. Okay. Um, so let's continue. We're going to discuss a different topic. We're just low. Okay. So none of these, we're done. Now we're going to do some exercise to relative pronouns, okay? One, could you do it again? Glenda, number one. I don't hear you. Uh, do you want me to go into the platform? No, read this and, but oh, everybody okay. access the platform right now anyway. Okay. Okay. I don't want to have a partner. And um, the options. Yep. Uh, I have nothing in common with this person. I already did this exercise in the well, platform. <laughs> so that's why I know the answer. Right. Okay. A add on. What, which one did you say? I, I don't have, I have nothing in common with this person. I don't want to have a partner. I have nothing in common with this person. Um, yep. This is not okay. conjugated though. We we'll probably have to make it later. All right, number two. Raul. Me too. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay, I would like to meet people. The options. No, oh, no, sorry. the second one. That's the same. Oh, let's see.
uh, these people have a good sense of humor? I'd like to meet people. All right, let's try that one. Number three, Celia. Everybody mute your microphone, please, except Celia. Please, please. I would prefer a roommate and the options. I don't know if I can say it. Sorry, I keep forgetting. Uh, number like six, I would prefer, yeah, the, that one. I would prefer a roommate. Um, let me see. The first one, oh no, but the, the, this is this, the uh, is singular. Probably the, the, the last one. This person is, is quiet and considerate. Okay, number four, Amy. I don't like to be with people. Mm -hmm. yep. Uh -huh. I don't like to be with people. Or anybody who has an answer. All right. I don't feel comfortable around these people. I don't feel comfortable around these people. Very good. Number five. Anybody who has the answer can help me. All right. I can help you. Yep. I want to discuss my problems with friends. These people are warm and sensitive. People warm and sensitive. Great. Number six, yeah. Margarita. Number six, I rather have a boss. Mm -hmm. Um. This person has good, uh, has good leadership quit weight. Leadership qualities. Leadership qualities. Very good. And finally, I prefer to have teachers. These people are organized and intelligent. Who are organized and intelligent. All right. Hi, teacher. In the in the second in the second sentences. Mm -hmm. The answer is one. Number one, let's check that. Organized and intelligent. This is the second one. Yes. I don't, uh, in the second one, I like to meet people. Uh -huh. uh, these people have a good sense of humor. A few more, that's the one. All right, great. So uh, has everybody finished this part? Yes, I did. You finished? Leila, yes, yes. Raul, you finished? Yes. Okay. Yes. And if you haven't, do it with me, all right? But then it's done. This part is not complete, guys. So what I would ask you to do as homework, if you have completed this. This is, homework is optional, guys, but it's very necessary, especially in these cases. So it's up to you, okay? But here's what I would like you to do. I need you to put those two sentences together because that's the idea, right? So you say, I don't want to have a partner. How do you connect those two ideas? I'm going to copy paste this. I don't want to have a partner. And then the compliment, how do you connect it? I don't want to have a partner mm -hmm. who I have nothing in common with. Perfect. That would be the compliment. Who I have nothing in common with. Number two would be, I like to meet people mm -hmm. who have a good have sense, a good sense humor. of humor. I like to meet people who have a good sense of humor and so on. So this is the next part. It's not here. I don't know why, but I would like you to write it just like you did last night. You can do it on WhatsApp. Okay. It's optional though, but it will help you complete this topic now.
Let's see. Uh, please read the objective. Was it anticipated? Um, Karen? By the end of this class, participants will learn adjectives that describe personal characteristics. Okay, this will be participants. Participants. Yes, the stresses and the second syllable. All right, let's watch. So everyone with your microphone, please. Grab your notebook, a pen, let's take notes. We're gonna practice with those, all right? Ready? Let's watch. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn adjectives that describe personal characteristics. And you'll listen to an audio program in which you'll identify the adjectives that best describe each individual. So let's get started by learning the adjectives that you see before you. I'll be making this document available so you can have it for reference. Easygoing. An easygoing person is someone who doesn't worry much or get angry easily. Egotistical. An egotistical person is someone who has a very high opinion of himself or herself. Inflexible. An inflexible person is someone who doesn't change easily and is stubborn. Modest. A modest person is someone who doesn't brag about his or her accomplishments. Sociable. A sociable person is someone who enjoys being with other people. Stingy. A stingy person is someone who doesn't like sharing. Supportive. A supportive person is someone who is helpful and encouraging. Temperamental. A temperamental person is someone who has unpredictable or irregular moods. Unreliable. An unreliable person is someone who doesn't do what he or she promised. Now what we're going to do is we're going to listen to an audio program at this time. And as I mentioned, we need to be familiar with these adjectives in order for us to answer the questions from this audio program. What we're going to do in this audio program is we're going to listen to a description of Andrea, James, and Mr. Johnson. And then what I would like for you to do is to choose the best statement that describes each individual. So let's listen to that audio program at this time. So have you seen Andrea lately? Yeah, I see her once in a while. How's she doing? I've been meaning to call her. Well, to be honest, she's kind of been getting on my nerves lately. What do you mean? She's changed a lot since we've started college. She talks about herself all the time, and she always manages to mention how good she is at everything she does. Really? That would be annoying. It is. You know, she asked me to be roommates with her next semester, but I don't think I want to live with her. She used to be really generous, but now she's just the opposite. And it's not just with money, but her time as well. Well, college can be stressful. You two are good friends. Maybe you need to talk more. Are you going to James's party on Saturday? Of course. James always gives the best parties. And there are always lots of interesting new people to meet. It's true. I don't know where he manages to find them all. Well, you know what he's like. He makes friends very easily. He really likes talking to people, and he loves inviting people over. Uh-huh. He invited me for dinner last Saturday. What a feast. Yeah, he's a great cook, too. After dinner, I offered to help clean up, and he told me not to worry about it. He said he'd take care of it later. He was like, it's nothing, no big deal. Yep, that sounds like James. Have you met the new apartment manager? Mr. Johnson? Yeah, I met him last week. He's a little strange. Yeah, he is. I'm not sure I like him. He's hard to predict. Sometimes he's pretty cheerful and talkative, and the next day he doesn't even say hello. I think he must have personal problems or something. I think you're right. 
And have you noticed that half the time when he says he's going to do something, he never actually does it? He told me three times he'd come to fix the light in my kitchen, and he still hasn't done it. And Mr. Johnson. Okay, did you get some of the answers? How would you describe Hi, the speaker? Yeah. Yes? Hi, teacher. Hi. In the first one, mm -hmm. uh, Andrea, Andrea is egotistical and stingy. Yes. Okay. Andrea, is someone, Andrea is someone who is egotistical and stingy. All right, let's practice the pronunciation of, of these words, okay? Repeat after me, uh, but repeat with the microphone muted, please. So everyone needs okay. the microphone and repeat. So say egotistical, stingy, sociable, easygoing, temperamental, unreliable. Make sure you're saying relia, okay? Unreliable, egotistical. And that's it. Okay, one more time. Repeat after me. The egotistical, stingy, sociable, easygoing, temperamental, unreliable. Okay, great. So you were saying Andrea is Andrea is someone mm -hmm. who is egotistical and stingy. Someone or somebody who is egotistical and stingy. Very good. That was better. Stingy. Great. Uh, who else, guys? Me, please. Go ahead. Me. Okay. James is someone who is sociable and easygoing. Who is sociable and easygoing. Sociable and easygoing. Very good. Okay. Great. And? And number three. Uh, Mr. Judge. Uh huh. With Simon, uh, well, thank you. Mr. Jones is someone who is temperamental and unreliable. Temperamental and unreliable. Okay. So uh, this is the activity I would like us to do quickly. Um, I would like you to use these adjectives to describe a person who you know, okay, and explain why. For example, I can say, um, I know somebody who is really stingy and if you, if you owe them 50 cents, for example, that person would be like, oh, where are my 50 cents? <laughs> so that's being really stingy. I would like you to say who you know who is like this, and why you consider them to be like this, how you describe them. Okay, is that clear? Let's do that quickly, all right, for like yes. four minutes. So describe somebody who meets or who you can associate with this word, okay? Describe some people using those. And also describe yourself, right? If any of these um, adjectives is applicable for you. You don't need to write them, just discuss. For four minutes, we're gonna do that. Okay, four or five. Let me make new groups. In groups of three, we're gonna do that. I will send you this image to WhatsApp, but if you have it, well, you can use it now. So, there it is. Accept the invitation, please. Let's practice.
No, <laughs> that is no good. No. <laughs> no, no. Anyway. Nice to meet you in Cres Cooperativo. It's Josie. <laughs> Hi, Josie. <laughs> are you are you writing the sentences? Well, no. talking about them? No, no, no practice. Was... Sorry? You say we don't have to write it, no, only no, to write discuss. Them. That's right, that's right. But ah, you... okay. We just were practicing that. Okay, awesome. Yeah, continue. Let me check on everyone else. Go okay. on, go on. <laughs> and that's, that's great. That's <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Uh, in my case, uh, well, I know somebody uh, who is uh, really inflexible. As you know, uh, we try uh, to talk with him to deal the the deal the 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 academy, the, the academy was closed. Yes, yes. And I I I I had a, I have two or three months three months without practicing in English. Where did you used to study, Michelle? Uh, sorry, could you repeat the, the question, please? Where did you used to study? Uh, I study in computer data system. Ah, yeah. The pandemic uh, made everyone uh, stop studying. Yeah. The, the academy was closed. And I, I, I had two or three, mo three months without practice. Yeah, OK. Um, so let's practice. Do you know anybody who is easygoing? Or how do you describe yourself? Marcela, with the adjectives, are you stingy, easygoing, sociable? I think I am a, I am a sociable person. I think I can be friends with anybody. And if we don't have uh, too much in common, I... The first tool who I used to, to do my business, so... So it's important to be sociable and easy to going. <laughs> so uh, yes, I, I guess that I'm a sociable person. Okay, great. The one uh, loud. <laughs> hey guys. Hi. Hello, John. <laughs> what were you saying? Um, I was talking about the social and easy going person. Oh, okay. Have you described yourselves? Me? Mm -hmm. mm, quietly and... Quiet, quiet. Quietly is an adverb. Ah, uh, okay. Quiet, sorry. Quiet and... and serious. And from the adjectives? Which one is applicable for you? Right, because if the both of you are rude or or unreliable, <laughs> the thing could be really really hard. I don't mind that. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that people. Like a using the relative pronoun. And I think we have to send it to her. Mm -hmm. Hi. <laughs> I just saw it. What's the question? We are wondering about the other sentences that we did before. For the exercise of the platform, if yeah. we need to send it to you to the WhatsApp group, send it on the group. Yep, just like you did last night. It's yeah. up now, but I would recommend you do it because it's the last time we're gonna study this topic. Yeah. Okay. So, hey. Uh, did you finish? Have you described yourselves? Yes. Yes. You have? We did it. <laughs> we we describe, ourselves describe ourselves. ourselves. Awesome. Um, no, yeah, you should have described yourself, but I think we're going to go back now. That's the majority of it. Okay. Oh, there it is. Let's go back. Okay. Did you guys practice? Yes. Yeah. Yes, we do. Awesome. Did you have the chance to describe yourselves? Yes. Maybe. Yes, we did. Yes, of course. Yes, we did it. Awesome. Yes, we did. All right. Um, so I need one person to volunteer and describe him or herself. Who's going to be the brain Hi, one? Go ahead. Hi. What's your name? Okay. Well, okay. My name is Michael Diaz. I'm 29 years old. 
uh, I'm considered that I'm not sociable because okay. when when I when I go uh, and use a new place, mm -hmm. uh, I can't I can do new friends easily. You can make new friends. I can I, can, I can't make uh, new friends easily, but when I when I when I know a new people, I, when I meet a new people, a new person, I, 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 a new a new person. I can I can be a a good friend, and also I'm easy going with my uh, with my friends. Easy going, very good. Applauses for him. <laughs> great job, great job. All right, I'm going to send you some information, guys. Let me see. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. One second, I'm sending something to WhatsApp. Hold on. So, do you have any questions about this topic? Questions um, about yeah, this topic? It's all right. No, everything is clear. Everything, everything clear? is okay. Yes. Uh, all right, great. So, guys, please uh, have some things to say. All right. Let me write them to make sure we're on the same page. Okay, so um, some things. First of all, um, if I put you in a meeting group, in a small group, and you're alone, let me know, okay? So if you're alone in a meeting room, in a group, in a small group, let me know. Don't stay there just waiting, right, and be like, hmm. <laughs> what am I doing? Send me a message here, but send it through Zoom, not WhatsApp, because I cannot be doing so many things at the same time. So then they message through the chat, right? Through Zoom. Okay. I didn't say that last night, but this is very important. Don't be forever alone in that meeting room. You can have someone. I can relocate you quickly. All right. That is one. Okay. Another one is. Hey, homework, somebody was asking me, um, well, homework, this is optional, guys, because what's the most important thing in this course? Two things, what are they? The, the, to work the, at the platform? Yes, the platform and is the most important thing. Stay at the virtual sections. Okay. And be in class, right? So homework is optional, but I highly encourage you to do it. So homework, if you ever have any, send it to the group, okay? Send it to a WhatsApp group, right? And I'm gonna read most of them. If there are too many mistakes, I will tell you in class or I will send you a message, okay? But last night you actually did great. I, I could see them. That's another thing. And, and I'm sending something right now to WhatsApp in one second. No, 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 no. Uh -huh, all good. Okay, look at that. So yes, mm -hmm. that's my name right there. Guys, save this message I sent, all right? Check, I sent it through WhatsApp. So, no, I sent it to someone else. <laughs> there it is. No. I yeah, did. I just said this. All right, so look, that's my name, okay? Because later, después, en la evaluación, lo voy a decir en español porque quiero que quede claro, okay? Eh, ahí está mi nombre completo, porque en la evaluación, ya a final de mes me han preguntado, ¿cómo se llamaba la profe? No me acuerdo. <laughs> María del Carmen, ¿cómo? No, nada que ver. Así que ahí está mi nombre. En este mensaje está toda la información. El nombre del curso, que no lo pueden cambiar, por cierto. El horario, porque a veces hay unos que se conectan el viernes. <ríe> y dicen, ¿y dónde están todos? Bueno, es porque el horario va hasta jueves. Los viernes no hay clase. Um, luego está en la lista de reproducción de YouTube. Que honestamente yo no la puedo subir todas las noches porque miren la hora que es acá ya vieron 23 49 o sea ya va a ser medianoche ok acá donde yo estoy termino a las 2 de la mañana entonces bueno yo me voy a dormir y ya después subo como no subo solo un video sino que subo los de la semana por decirlo así no los puedo subir cada noche porque es muy tarde cuando termino por eso Ténganme paciencia, pero para el fin de semana espero que estén los videos en la lista de YouTube. Simplemente se van 
a ese link y ahí pueden encontrar los videos de su grupo. ¿Okay? ¿Qué más? Eh, acá está el código de, de, de WhatsApp. Que... Alguien me hace un favor por, y puede copiar el código WhatsApp y mandarlo aquí al chat porque hay una persona que no está todavía en el grupo. Pero... Lo pueden copiar así y mandarlo al, aquí al chat de Zoom. Se lo voy a pasar a una persona. Y bueno, eso es todo. Creo que eso es todo. Así que en este mensaje está la información más relevante. Luego, eh, gracias. Margarita se llama. ¿verdad? Margarita, check, eh, revisa el chat. Y aquí está el, el grupo de WhatsApp. Si le da clic, se une. Okay. Bueno, de la plataforma me estaban preguntando. Y esto hay que completar aproximadamente una sección y media por semana. Ese es el estimado. Okay. Y cuando tengan problemas de que no pueden ingresar a la plataforma o, o no, no sé, están teniendo problemas técnicos, eh, problemas de IT, los van a hablar con Jonathan, que es la persona que les escribió en la mañana en el grupo. Entonces se comunican con él directamente. Hay un contacto que les ayuda con las respuestas de la plataforma. Okay. Eh, veamos, plataforma, pongamos answers. Si ustedes de verdad no dan con la respuesta, porque hay algunas cosas que, que son muy complicadas, hay un contacto al que les tienen que escribir, creo que se llama, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Ay, no, no me acuerdo. Les voy a pasar el número después, pero siempre mandan los contactos. Para cada problema, cada situación hay un contacto, ¿ok? Así que ahí se los paso. Pero Jonathan, si están teniendo problemas para accesar o cualquier otra cosa, si no encuentran la respuesta de la plataforma. Yo de todos modos en clase, yo tengo acceso a las respuestas. Si como grupo no llegamos a ellas, las abro y se las doy en clase. ¿okay? Si no ya se están adelantando o si están un poco atrás, hay una persona que les ayuda. Les mando el contacto después. Y bueno, además de eso, ¿alguna pregunta? ¿Algo que no haya quedado claro? En la plataforma... Eh... ¿Cómo hacemos? ¿Podemos seguir avanzando o cómo hacemos? ¿Podemos como parar para no avanzar? No, pues, hay personas que la primera semana terminan toda la plataforma y aún así se, se, se siguen conectando a clases porque hay que hacerlo, ¿verdad? Ah, y esa es otra que les decía anoche, si van a estar ausentes, avisen en el grupo también. ¿Okay? Ausencias y, y por qué, para si no los contacto. ¿listo? Entonces, si ustedes quieren adelantar en la plataforma, está bien pero quizá van a tener dudas porque hay unas respuestas que son bien complicadas. Entonces, Entonces una consulta. Sí, dígame. Eh, yo por mi trabajo no me puedo estar conectando todos los días porque trabajo en área contable y normalmente salgo noche. ¿Y con qué frecuencia estaba pensando conectarse? Eh, aunque sea dos veces por semana estaba pensando. Es lo que había quedado. Sí, había avisado, creo, ¿verdad? Sí, ya. No la veo porque... Marcela, yo, ah, Marcela. Okay. Bueno, sí, sí, ya había avisado y eso está bien. No lo tiene que decir cada vez, está bien. Bueno, ¿alguna otra consulta? Porque así mañana ya solo seguimos y asumo que todo está claro. Now or never. <risa> todo claro. No, todo All bien. clear, teacher. All yes. clear? All right, awesome. Everything is clear. Yes, teacher. Great. Yep, I think we're ready, so we can just continue tomorrow, right? Very good. I will send you this contact number. You have Jonathan's number, right? Save it, yes, please save it in case you, you have. Yeah, it's Jonathan. Number. And I will send you this contact. I don't know his name, but it's usually there, so you will see it. Um, please justify any absences, and we're good. All right, thank you very much, guys. Thank you for being with me tonight, and I hope to see everyone tomorrow. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.